Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stamp and Jill creative team. I'm excited to share with you today a stamp set from the new mini catalog. This is the Artful Amaryllis stamp set and it actually comes in a bundle with some really cute dies that coordinate. So you have the stamp set that has some sayings and the amaryllis flower. It's pretty simple, but then you also have the um, dies that coordinate and you can either cut out the flower that you um, stamp, but you also can um, die cut out a flower to use on your card as well. So, so fun. So I wanted to show you a few ideas that I came up with using this, using both the stamp set and the dies and adding in a blending brush and having a few different options with that. So let me just get started here. We're gonna start by just stamping down our um, amaryllis flower. This is just the flower, it's pretty simple. So you have the lined image and then you have the bold image. I'm just using the bold image on this card. So let me just show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ink this up in petal pink. And then before I stamp it down, I'm going to take copper clay and my blending brush. I'm just using one of the mini blender brushes because I don't need a huge space for blending on this. I'm just using a little bit. So I'm gonna just pick up a little bit of ink from my copper clay and it just in the center of my flower here, I'm going to ink up that copper clay just right onto the petal pink. So I'm gonna get kind of that two-toned look when I stamp this down. So there you can see it has kind of the copper clay in the center and then the petal pink along the edges. And I'm gonna add another flower petal in here. I guess I want this to go this way. And I'm just gonna do that again, just right on that center tip of my petal and just stamp that right there. Okay, so that's kind of how it's gonna look. Let me show you the card that I made using this technique. So here's my card. I just did it twice there with the two flowers and then I stamped the petals in the back. The cool thing is, so this has the stem and the petals. So I stamped it down once here and then I added it again next to it and then just lengthened that up. And so you can have a, two, a few different options when stamping that down, but I thought it looked really pretty. So this is one that is mostly with a stamp set. I didn't really use the dies on there, but it's still so, so pretty. It's very soft and just really elegant. Let me show you a few other ideas. Here's one that I used with the die cut flowers, but I still stamped the leaves in the background, which I loved that look kind of mixing the two. And then I have one more I wanna show you where I used all the dies. Let me just show you what I did using the blending brushes on that. So I had cut out my petals for my amaryllis and I just took my blending brush again in the copper clay. I kind of love that. So this is crushed curry that I cut them out of and I'm using copper clay. I looked online and amaryllis flowers have a few different colors in them. So I kind of love the idea of having more than one tone on the flowers. So that's why I thought the blending brushes were such a fun idea. I tap it into the um, ink and then I just get that main really inky off, if that makes sense, and then put it onto my cardstock. So I don't have a big ink streak right on my petals. Hopefully that makes sense how I said that. Okay, so then you'll just take these and adhere them together like that so you have your cute flowers. And let me show you the card that I made using that technique. So here we are. We have the stems here and then the flowers I did. So you have this bigger flower and then this one that looks like it's kind of opening the other direction. I kind of love that. It gives a little bit more dimension to your card. And I still stamped all the flowers in the background but I thought that was a really fun way to showcase the dies in that set. So fun, I think there's so much possibility with this Artful Amaryllis bundle. I've had a lot of fun playing with it. If you're interested in it, make sure to check the links in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, make sure to go and do that. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.